Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In these examples, we're going to take a look to what is called decomposition of function. And you see down here what I mean by decomposition of function. It's mean, it means breaking down to a complex function like the one you see here, h of x, into simplest function. That's the reason we want to see that h of x as a result of a composition of function, like I said in the problem, f compose of g of x. But that form, this form, that does not help us that much. However, I think the next one, which shows us what f compose of g of x is, will help us, because that means f of g of x. And now you notice this function g is the inside function, inner function. That tells me right away, this is my g of x, the inside function. So g of x in our case, in this part a, is 3x minus 2. The question is, what will be f of x? f of x is the outside function, outer function. And that will be represented by this exponential function, the power of 4. So that's the reason I'm going to write here x to the 4 power. And these are simpler functions that if you compose, you should get h of x. You can check that right away, right? h of x, and that is f compose of g of x, and that means f of g of x, which means in our case f of 3x minus 2, right? Because the, the g function is 3x minus 2. And I, I'm going to put this uh, expression into the f function. So, yes, I get what h of x is. So, double check your work by doing the composition of the function. Very similar part b. We have this h of x which, again, I'm going to break it in what we did in part A. And that would be f of g of x. So now, we look into what we have here for h of x. Which one will be the inside function, the inner function? That will be this guy, the quantity under the square root in this case. So g of x for me right away, it's right there. It is 3x plus 2. What will be f of x? You may want to stop the clip and think about and then start again. f of x for me is the outside function, the outer function, which is this square root. Square root of what? Of x. I will make it the simplest possible form. And now again, I'm going to do what I did in part A. I'm going to check if h of x is the result of composing these two functions I have. And let's see, that means again f of g of x, and that means f of 3x plus 2. And now we take this quantity, 3x plus 2, and we put in the f function. And yes, we get the function h of x. Okay. So double check your work. And now we're going to go to the last one, part c. And, I, and again, uh, by now, probably you want to stop this video clip and you try it and see if we get the same here. h of x is f compose of g of x, that's what we know, and now that means f of g of x, and right away I think you know what g of x is now, g of x will be this guy, 2x minus 7, and what will be f of x? The f of x will be the outside function, outer function, I'm sorry, I should not say f of x. And that will be 1 over x, right? This is the 
uh, this reciprocal function 1 over x. So now we're going to check it to be sure we have the correct answer. h of x is f compose of g of x, which is f of g of x, which will be f of 2x minus 7. And that means I'm going to take this 2x minus 7 and replace the x in the f function. And I get exactly what we start from. That is the function f of h of x. Okay. Uh, one last thing that what I would like to be sure if I said these are not unique decomposition, but I think these are the basic one, the one that uh, I, I, I can see it right away. If you enjoy this uh, example, don't forget to click the like button and come back at C-square for more help. Thank you.